West Springfield, Massachusetts today, and we're going to talk about all the cemeteries in West Springfield, including the ones that used to be in West Springfield, but no longer are. There are so many cemeteries in this uh, town city, and we are happen to be in the St. Thomas the Apostle uh, Cemetery, which is on King's Highway, and this is Cemetery Alley of this West Springfield, because there's five cemeteries in a row. How is that possible? Well, behind me, there's four Jewish cemeteries in a row, each split off from one another through time. The oldest one is very close to us, and then they start to go backwards in age, or come forward in age. And we stopped here because this is the pauper section and the baby section, a very unique section. There's very few gravestones per amount of people the main body of the cemetery would have many more. And I'm going to tell you about all the cemeteries in West Springfield. Alright, but the ones you're looking at, this is the same time as you're standing on, but as you go through the cemetery that's in front of us, there's f uh, four Jewish cemeteries in a row, the oldest, would be the Benai Jacob Cemetery, which is just beyond us. And there's a road going up there. But adjacent to it, there is the Beth Israel Cemetery, and then the Beth El Cemetery, which has the outdoor uh, chapel, plus it has a little park where you can sit on benches. Then there's a the Congregation Kodomo Cemetery just beyond it. Five cemeteries in a row, five entrances, and it's an incredible area. Now, also on this street, there's another cemetery called the Meeting House Hill Cemetery or the White Church Cemetery next to the White Church itself. And that's only about a half mile away. So on this street, there's actually six cemeteries. Right? But there's other cemeteries in West Springfield. The oldest one of all is the Union Street Cemetery, also called the Old Metal Cemetery from 1711, before there was even a West Springfield yet. West Springfield came around 1774, right? There's also the Park Street Cemetery and the Pocketuck Cemetery. And there's a nice family cemetery called the Asheville Cemetery on Route 5, right? And the Dominican Monastery has its own private cemetery in back of it, right? Now, West Springfield had two towns uh, come off of itself and both turned into cities. And Holyoke had two cemeteries that used to be inside of West Springfield proper. And Holyoke has two cemeteries that used to be inside of West Springfield. Um, when Holyoke broke out in 1850, they became part of Holyoke. But those were the Rock Valley Cemetery and the Elmwood Cemetery. And then Agwam also split off of. Um, West Springfield in 1855, so almost every old cemetery in Agawam used to be in West Springfield. And so I hope to give a presentation today, and it's probably going to have 15 cemeteries, because of all these ones that broke off, used to be inside of West Springfield. Agawam, I think, has seven very old cemeteries. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take two panoramics around the cemetery. The first one to show you some of the features of all these many cemeteries. You can see the outdoor chapel in the distance with a nice copper roof on it. And though that's where the four cemeteries in a row are. Now they have a very nice feature in the corner here at the end of the fence. They left a place, place for pedestrians to get into the St. Thomas Cemetery and all four Jewish cemeteries and to get between them. So you can walk into St. Thomas into the Jewish cemeteries. And that's, that's very nice. And again, we're also in the baby section when we're out here. And so a lot of these graves are for little children. Not all of them will have gravestones and that's why it seems very empty out here. Now, Kings Highway is the road out here. And then we're looking at the very oldest part of the St. Thomas Cemetery through the front here. And this cemetery has stones that go out to the 1870s itself. Now, it also has an outdoor chapel and a memorial section uh, towards the back itself. And the modern part of St. Thomas is in the very, very, very back. All right, 
Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by the popper section. We're in this popper section, and look at the back of it. The front had a lot of barrel stone, gray stone. The very back does not. And a lot of babies are, are there, and, and poppers also. And now, one very, very unusual gravestone in the Jewish uh, cemetery that we're looking at is a doubled stone for a husband and wife, which are joined at the top. And that's because they wanted their own joint gravestone, but separate, because most Jewish uh, people are buried separately right by their spouse, but with separate gravestones. And this one did that, but put a joint at the top because they were a joint couple. And you can see this very wonderful uh, gravestone for a young child, Clara. She died at 10 years old, and Eliza also died very young in the Bertazzi family. So a lot of very beautiful stones around this area. Okay, so we're going to do one last panoramic for you. And I hope you visit the many different cemeteries in West Springfield, including and their two child cities, Holyoke and Aguam, and especially this cemetery row on Kings Highway, where you have six different cemeteries. Thank you very much.